I've always wanted a presidential pardon, but why? What crime have I committed? Morning. Other than being guilty for being a silly guy. You're the welcome to Luton man. Well, when I was at school, I was once given detention for playing footy before break time had started. I'm still not over it, so I'm gonna do something. In 14 hours I'm meeting the head of government. This is the story of how I got a presidential pardon. Wow from a recognised world leader Hello. and then hand-delivered that pardon to the teacher that told me off 12 years ago. It's hilarious. I need to get a presidential pardon. Now, I have one rule for this entire video. The presidential pardon has to come from a head of state of a UN recognised territory. So, no Sealand, no Molossia, Basically, do they have an international football team? That is the threshold of which I'm basing this entire thing off. I'm going to start with the obvious country, the US. It's actually very helpful because the official White House website has a contact us page in which you can contact the president, contact the vice president, help with the federal agency, question about the website. I might as well contact the president. I don't have any huge questions about the website. Hey Joe, hope you well. Is there any chance of a collab? LMK when you're in London cases. I don't think I'm gonna be hearing back from the US, but that's fine because I've got over 200 countries to slide into the DMs of. Over the next few days, I contacted hundreds of press offices to see if I could get five minutes of face-to-face -face time with their head of state. And after a couple of weeks, I had a few replies. I have some updates. Essentially, I've had responses from two countries, Kosovo and Gibraltar. Kosovo is a weird one because their head of press asked to converse over WhatsApp and then she left me on red. <laughs> that feeling when you get aired by an entire country. But Gibraltar seemed to be keen and they said, yes, can we arrange a date? And Gibraltar is recognized by the UN. So I think I could be going to Gibraltar. I was given an address in Gibraltar and a date. This is the this is the address that I've been given. I'm meant to be here in two days' time. So it was time to get my travel on. International bad boy. Getting a presidential pardon. And whilst I'm travelling across Europe, let me give you a history of Gibraltar. Gibraltar is an overseas territory in the Iberian Peninsula. It's one enormous and gorgeous rock. It has its own self-governing parliament with an elected leader. And most importantly, it has an international football team that has won six games. And it's victory for Gibraltar. This was all looking like it was going swimmingly. Beautiful day. But there was one thing that I hadn't been entirely truthful about. 14 hours I'm meeting the head of the Gibraltar government. Now, the tricky thing is, what I haven't told you thus far, is that he thinks I'm turning up for something else. I'm slightly operating on the idea of beg for forgiveness rather than for permission. So there's a potential for this to go a little bit wrong. I knew the press office wouldn't agree to a meeting if I straight up and asked for the pardon. So instead, I requested just to have an interview. And I was hoping when I was there, I could ask the chief minister for a sneaky favour. It's beautiful around here. I'm quite glad we didn't get to Kosovo. But before that, I needed to get into Gibraltar. And as it's a British overseas territory, I was greeted with some home comforts Breakfast. from the moment I crossed the border. <laughs> First thing you see when you get into Gibraltar is a red telephone box. Upon arriving in Gibraltar, I made my way straight into the centre of town to scope out the Chief Minister's office. And with a population of only 30,000, I ran straight into the very press officer that I'd been emailing. Hello! I'm so glad that you're a real person and I haven't <laughs> travelled all the way here for absolutely nothing. The question that we have is, is yeah. well, how are you going to bamboozle Chief? This is the thing, I'm not here to bamboozle him at all. The lie detector test determined that was a lie. Ooh! He's down for... He's down with the kids. He's down with the kids. Yes. Down, down with the cool kids. Down with the cool kids. Yes. That's I'm, I'm, not me. <laughs> I was... That's, that's kind of put my mind at ease a little bit, weirdly. B bumped into one of the main, <laughs> main advisors to the government. <laughs> just, you know, just in the street. Look at these, gold cannons. This is obviously how they used to protect themselves in the old days. But now you can protect yourself using Dashlane. Dashlane is a password manager, but let me tell you more. 
Dashlane is important because it stores all my password information, my payment information, and my personal information in one secure place. It is the online equivalent of this wall. Sir, what do you use for your password protection? I would recommend using Dashlane. You can get 50% off using the code MAXFAR50. The way that hackers find out your password is because a lot of people use the same password for different accounts. And so when one database gets hacked, bingo. But with Dashlane, it generates a really, really secure password every single time you create an account somewhere. That's, that's Max for M-A-X-F-O. Okay, no, it work actually. So thank you, Dashlane, for making this video possible. Go on, Fosh Pit members, send them some love. Time flies when you're hanging out with monkeys at the top of the Rock of Gibraltar, and my meeting with the Chief Minister was fast approaching. So, I went for a quick pit stop at the pub right next to Parliament. I came here to drink OJ and to meet the Chief Minister of Gibraltar, and I just finished my OJ. I ventured inside the Government of Gibraltar's headquarters. My name is Max Fosh. I've got a meeting with the Chief Minister at 12 o'clock. To pass. Get on. Only as I sat down in the waiting area did the true gravity of the situation begin to set in. <laughs> How's this happen then? I'm really nervous. <laughs> I was minutes away from meeting a head of state, and not only that, I somehow had to convince him to do something truly silly. Silly to the max, you might even say. Can, shall, can, shall I leave my bag here or can I? <laughs> You're going to be doing it in, um, in the Chief's cabinet room. You can even do oh my god. What should I call the Chief Minister? Just the Chief Minister? Just the Chief Minister. And it's not Fabian. Straight up, it's Fabian. Fabian, okay. I'll stick to, to the Chief Minister. I mean, you can call him Fabian. Chief <laughs> Minister. Let's, let's start with Chief Minister. Before I knew it, I was being whisked away to the private offices of the Chief Minister of Gibraltar, Fabian Picardo. Wow. God, this all feels very real now. <laughs> And after a couple of minutes, the main man arrived. Hello. Hello. How are you? Lovely to meet you, Max. Nice to meet you, Max. Hello, Chief Minister. Well, Please have a seat. Thank you. I'm, I'm saying this in your, your, your own yeah. office. So, my name's Max. I'm a YouTuber. Mm -hmm. These crazy new jobs that everyone yeah, keeps talking about. What my son wants to be when Oh, he really? Yeah. With Fabian Jr., a potential member of the Fosh Pit. Hello there, if you're watching. We were off to a great start. So, I thought I'd show off my own political chops. I, I have <laughs> I had a, uh, a brief foray into politics myself. I ran in the London mayor election. Max Fosh, 6,309. No, did you? Oh, I came 19th out of 20. That's not bad. Yeah. yeah. And with the chief minister suitably impressed, I decided to go for it. It requires a bit of a story, but when I was younger, I never really got in trouble. But I did once get in trouble, which is when I was playing football one minute before I was allowed to. So break started at uh, 9pm, I was playing football at 8.59. That's Theresa May level of Mr. <laughs> Me and my friends used to run through the fields of wheat. It's been bugging my mind for years, this one uh, discretion of my, of my behaviour. And so I want to get, if it's okay with you, a pardon from a, from a minister being like, that has happened, is okay. More. And what I'm then going to do with that is then going to take it to my old teacher. I'd love to showcase you the, uh, the, the, the pardon for my discrepancy when I was at school. Um, now, I've always been slightly uh, upset because although I was caught at 8.59, the, um, the fine or the lines that I was issued were issued at 9.01 p.m. Or, or what, do you, what do you think? Well, I mean, in order to ensure that there is absolutely no element of frivolity about this, That's I cool. shall sign this in the way that I am properly empowered to do. By the power invested in me. Wow. This is probably the highlight of my entire career. I had done it. Years of heartache and injustice put right by one man's pen. Gibraltar, what a place. Come on, absolutely come on. I was terrified because I didn't know whether he was keen to sign it, but. Touch for us, teacher. Right, I got back from Gibraltar yesterday and I have managed to organise with my old teacher to meet. Now, I have told her that we're meeting because I want to put together some clips of people who have helped me along the way for my stand-up show. She did, she was my first drama teacher. And if you want to watch me do some stand-up, head down to the London Palladium in November or the Edinburgh Fringe in August. Oh, I left my car keys in the ignition. While I rush back to grab my keys, don't forget to click the link below and use the promo code MAXFOSH50 for a whopping 50% off Dashlane premium plan. I'm not protecting myself there, but I am using Dashlane, which always gives me that extra layer of protection. Hello. The reason I brought you here today is not the reason I told you. 
at school, I was a very good boy. Yes. But you were the only teacher <laughs> that ever told me off, got me in trouble. And it has haunted me <laughs> for years. One minute before. Yeah, before nine o'clock. Yeah, I do remember this. Because I remember being properly. <laughs> so what I've done? Oh God! So I, I, I was really annoyed at this. It's your block. It's, it's your. On my record. I want a party for this uh, this discrepancy. So I thought, who can I get a party from? How about a head of state? <laughs> Obviously. So yesterday, oh no! I flew to Gibraltar and managed to get the president of Gibraltar to oh, give me yes. an official pardon for playing footy at 8.59pm. <laughs> And so from this day forward, I am totally pardoned for my wrongdoing at school due to the power invested in the president of Gibraltar. What are you like? This is hilarious. <laughs> so that is yours. My work here is, my work here is done. I stand by my line giving. Well, according to the president of Gibraltar, that is incorrect.